Are you enjoying it? I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Soft pause. Soft pause. But could you do me a favour? What's that? Don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> what ever again? No, like during, during the point between action and cut, if you just didn't speak. Well, not at all. Aye. Not even at all. Not a, not a, like I. If I need to make you say something, I can do that later in post. <laughs> but no. If, it, oh, wait, 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 wait. If you need to make me say something. Yeah. If you need to make me say something. Yeah. What do you mean you need to? I'll say something if I want to say something. Today, in 1842, Scottish chemist and physicist Sir James Dewar was born. Dewar's scientific work covers a wide field, but he's best known for his achievements on the liquefaction of so-called permanent gases. They're big words, but basically he cooled gases to the point where they turned to liquid, like steam to water. Obviously, he needed to keep those liquid gases cold, and so he developed the vacuum flask. So go figure, a Scotsman invents a device to keep things cold. Surely in Scotland all you need to do is step outside. But amazingly, it also keeps things hot, too. As hot as George Clooney and Brad Pitt having a pillow fight, apparently. Woohoo! Dewar was nominated for the Nobel Prize several times. And although he was recognised as the inventor of the vacuum flask, he never profited from his invention. Because he failed to patent it. You know what this goes to prove? Just because you're a genius doesn't mean you're not also an Egypt. Ooh, nice. Looking good. You know you want to share this, don't you? Go on. Share it. <laughs>